Hello everybody. Uh, today, uh, today's lesson is about um, how to export data from Oracle database to some external files like CSV or Excel files. Uh, as we know, the, today we many softwares are available to <coughs> export this kind of data, export data to any format. But it's a, it's a very simple lesson so that you can understand how to export data and you can do it yourself but just just writing a script PLSQL script so uh, uh, today we are what we are going to do we will uh, create a simple small script uh, SQL script and uh, in which we will write a PLSQL uh, some PLSQL programs <coughs> and afterwards uh, we will run this um, uh, script in SQL prompt and we will see how data is exported to um, some database some disk files <coughs> uh, some CSV files with proper delimiter uh, now uh, as uh, I have shown you before how to export uh, data uh, in uh, using uh, say uh, ActiveX object uh, and uh, uh, using JavaScript, whatever. Now, in this lesson, we will see how to directly export data using a PLSQL script. So, in this uh, pro in this lesson, we will use uh, actually two table. One table is Employee Master. Another table is employee salary. From employee master, we will take employee code, employee name, uh, say date of birth. An employee salary, we will take gross pay and month year so uh, we'll begin the script uh, first uh, let us just build the structure we will use uh, an explicit cursor cursor and break is select mm. e dot import e dot name e dot date of birth maybe we can just give it a proper format say to care mmtd rrr and set a as say date of birth and s dot cross pay Start the month here and sum of is that cross pay which alias is cross pay. From employee master e an employee salary 
this. Where? Is dot l by d equal to e dot l by d. And mm, let us uh, just, I don't want to drag it too long, so um, maybe we can make it a little short. Say we write where rollum less than or equal to 100. I will just take 100, first 100 records. Uh, group by. as it is a gr grouping skill I mean we are getting the sum of the gross pay so uh, gross pay will be uh, grouped by employee code, employee name and its date of birth and pay month year which will give a month wise report of employees <coughs> so this is the cursor as the cursor has been defined. Now first thing we will do we will write dbms let's call output dot enable enable I will make it uh, say one lakh thousand two thousand uh, this uh, dbms output enable is uh, done uh, to set a buffer buffer to the SQL prompt that how much uh, memory will the SQL prompt, prompt store to uh, buffer this <coughs> data output dbms output which uh, the by which the data will be written on the SQL prompt uh, I mean SQL console so if you set it a lower value you will see uh, the upper in a and the uh, number of records is too large output record is too large so we will see that it will just uh, give an error and that's buffer allowed or something like that and it will stop executing <coughs> so I have presetted this one now what we will do we will write a for loop for say take uh, any variable say i in in break loop and loop and look now uh, dbms output that put line i dot input Fit in it and set a comma delimiter. Uh, I dot input, I dot input. I dot data path. I dot payment here I dot cross pay uh, let's see one thing let's take a heading Just put a 
uh, CSV header uh, say import imp name data part payment here plus pay uh, this can be done with uh, another uh, uh, program another type of that and it is not in the scope of this tutorial so we just make it manual so it means output it's done now just save this one this is say this is a very simple script I don't uh, want to make it complex uh, I can use open cursor you can use fetch statement but I haven't gone on to those complex things uh, let's just make it simple to export a script uh, export a data through a script so make it uh, just save it in a say, simple path say uh, D drive I save it say exp imp dot sql okay uh, so now what we will do we will run the script <coughs> I hope everything is okay no error comes out now before running the script uh, if you want to execute the TBMS output and print on the console so it is very very important that you use this statement set server output on now what we'll do we will since we will export this all this data printed on the console we will export to a csv file so we should spool the data to a csv file so let us pull in the drive <laughs> spool the file in the the same path where the script is uh, there so what we will write is pull d space uh, imprec dot csv done now we will run the script the, what is how the script is run at the rate just put an at the rate uh, print prefix uh, d I uh, forgot the name is the name of the file uh, it is m exp underscore m dot sql exp underscore m uh, writing dot sql is optional uh, you can write it you can leave it it's okay mm. let's see uh, just leave it now press a press front slash and press enter okay I'm sorry I, I told you that there should, might be some mistake so I just copy paste it and forgot that select statement is there okay so let's pull again otherwise it's all this garbage will come here pull d uh, what is the name a break dot csv at the rate d exp imp the 
सेम थिंग आई जस्ट वेट आउट ओके आई जस्ट मेक ऑल दिस रबिश सम करेक्शन Direct the emperor. Uh, what's the name? Uh, exp emp. I just make this uh, both the names same. Exp emp. Done. Oh, just uh, may 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 then a file name and CSV file name and script name same. Uh, doesn't matter. Now I will make pull off. Now just uh, go to the D drive and see what happened. Whether we got the file or not. Okay, see, uh, what is the latest file? This is the old file, uh, which is mpreg. You see, uh, what we got, we got all, we will get all the error message, and everything is pulled out. Okay, I think there is some, I don't know, there is some problem. Okay, let's uh, now let's see the old file. See, see all the error message, everything class is pulled out on this file. Now we will see the actual file <coughs> where the data is exported. Okay. See the here uh, this uh, all these all at the it is here. So I will just remove this one. See, we have given where row num less than equal to hundred. So how many record has been there? See, hundred one is the last column. So it is. This is the header. So this is how you can easily write a script and export your table record, table data to any CSV files uh, and later on you can save it to excel format from CSV. So that's all about uh, simple writing simple script to export data to CSV files. Thank you.